This is an AMI This Week Shortcut. Put the dirt around like this. I'm Grant Hardy for Accessible Media. First-time gardener Howard Renyik enjoys adding new plants to his garden plot at one of Can You Dig It's community gardening programs. The Vancouver program provides opportunities for people with developmental disabilities to grow their own food. For Howard, the garden isn't just about the food. It's also about the people. Nice people. Mm -hmm. Really nice people. Real, pe real nice real people and like the gardening. These are tomatoes. Senior support worker Christine McFedrin also enjoys the social aspect of the garden and sees the benefits firsthand. I really like it. I like having people come in the backyard and, you know, having some of the guys come out here and seeing them and interacting. It's really nice. It's nice to have people come by and them to get to know them and have that familiar face to say hi to. The Can You Dig It program is run by Possibilities, an organization that supports people with developmental disabilities. Hemant Kulkarni is the project leader and believes that gardening can have real therapeutic value. One piece is that it's simply a shared activity like, uh, like any other, but I also think that um, gardening uh, really requires people to kind of be uh, present in the moment. Hemant believes that the Can You Dig It gardens do more than just grow food. You know, when we think of a garden and we're planting food and, you know, we're going to grow things, people think of that as the end, right? Is That's why I garden, because I want to grow food. But um, the way we see it is that it's actually uh, more the means and the end is really uh, friendships or relationships and that's what we're trying to grow. In Vancouver, I'm Grant Hardy for Accessible Media.